Hey, can you reach those mulberries? Whoa, don't make the... You shouldn't have brought those toys here. But look forward that way. There's a bunch of them all over here. Just look. Move, look at there. Wow. All right, they're all over the place. Boy, you're up really high. If you fall, that would not be good. Hold on tight. There's mulberries there, too. Look at there. There's three or four nice ones there. Yay. Oh, you just dropped it. Dropped. Three. Okay, you're going to eat them right now, aren't you? Hold on to your ladder tight. Yum, yum. Are they good? Although we could probably do another dewberry, mulberry pie this year. I'm just, I'm going to assume that we're not going to pick enough mulberries to uh, do much with. So just eat them. They enjoy this every year. This is like... Uh, daily pilgrimage almost you know once when they are in season yeah there's some really low there aren't there what do they taste like jj yummy yummy gummy yummy yummy okay i've had it right the first time i wonder time. if the uh, all the muscadines that we rooted and is going all over these two mulberry trees are actually ever going to produce they're kind of in bloom now or fixing to open the bloom. me uh, this dwarf ever ever bearing black mulberry which isn't a morse nigra or true black mulberry i think it's a hybrid between a white and a red is probably one of the best it's probably the best for our area so far as far as taste you know, production. The only big drawback is that the berries are small. You know, a lot of our red mulberries that are native here have a similar good taste. They're even smaller than these though. And they don't always have the high production here. Now, I can't tell you everywhere where they're native, everywhere where they drop, you know, a seed, you know, a seed, a seedling sprouts, that it's that bad versus like our single uh, mature red one is. But, you know, like I said, the, the flavor is good on those, but Yummy. low production and really small berries. All the mulberry that is right beside of it is just it's same taste, same size, slightly different leaf shapes and sizes on the leaves. It has to be, in my opinion, a black mulberry that just does not have good production here in north central Florida. It blooms pretty much every year and then the blooms drop. And then, you know, every once in a while, you'll get a, a, a fruit set on them, that, and they're really good, but they're not worth growing. Maybe we should cut this guy back and try to uh, graft something on it or multiple things off of it. Use the use it as a rootstock, basically. Like we have something new popping up, a double tiger lily. Anyway, I have tried Illinois Everbearing Mulberries. I think on three occasions, one with the little plant that I'd got just this year, it was, you know, it had like seven or eight mulberries on it. I tried some from a mature plant, I think late last season, last year. And I think I tried some several years back when we tried to plant one in our lowest area and it survived a year or two and it produced some, some berries. That one was good, but the other two, were not very good. One of them was extremely sour. You know, for fresh eating, it'd probably be okay for a pie, but there was also like a green taste with the last two trees or whatever that I've tried. The dwarf ever bearing black um, can be sour when it's not fully ripe and sweet when it is. So it's kind of like a, a sour dewberry or like a sweet raspberry, depending on that, that day or so, 24 hour difference between the you know when it gets peak ripeness versus just a little below fully ripe. The grafted Pakistan mulberry that we had, uh, you know, from this season, still small, still could you know have a few years growth and have even bigger berries. But they were probably two and a half, three inches this year. They were kind of like a combination of white and red, and they have definitely have some of that white, you know, more uh, Morris Alba flavor with just a hint of the tartness, so just a hint of the red flavor. Still not as good as the um, um, dwarf ever bearing black mulberries that we, we love to pick each year. The Sixth Street Mulberry, which is, is when we planted last year, um, it had a few on it that was edible this year, and it's even more of that white mulberry flavor 
than the Pakistan. So it's not not that great in my opinion. Just a hint of the red. So it's like, you know, a third or a quarter of that red taste and like two thirds plus of the white. So this is that Chiang Mai 60. Some of these guys may, I mean, 63 I should say. Some of these guys actually may be bigger than the Dwarf Forever Bang Black, just slightly. Just kind of has a very diluted red mulberry flavor. It's just not as strong of flavor. It's just not as a pungent of flavor of the red mulberry. The particular one I grabbed didn't want to come off of the bush. So maybe I got a little bit less of the white flavor, a little bit more tartness with it. But when, they're, when they just fall into your hands, they seem to have that white mulberry flavor. And more. we have seedlings of this and that. And we're trying, you know, grafting, obviously, of a few different cultivars. So we may end up having 10 or 15 or 20 cultivars of mulberries. With that said, you know, the dwarf everbearing black is what every garden center pretty much sells. Even if they sell a couple other ones, just seedlings, white ones, and this and that. They're probably popular for a reason. A lot of people in the know believe that the black or Morse nigra... Uh, mulberries are the best but there is a limited area i guess uh, you know where you can grow them um where they produce each year so they sell the dwarf ever bearing and maybe for more cold hardy ones they do like illinois ever and what i've learned is that you know they improve over the years whether it's fruit size or production um you do have to give them a few years to see how they're going to really turn out so that's why i'm not you know getting rid of the sixth street i'm not going to just get rid of you know other ones i know Chiang Mai 60 is a highly ornamental when the fruits you know when they're like full is like little rubies all over the the place you know i went to a permaculture garden a year or so back and it was just one of the most beautiful uh mulberry plants that i'd ever seen or multiple plants just full of these rubies basically so we're going to give everything a fair chance and um am i going to go out and get 20 or 30 more varieties or cultivars of mulberries probably not maybe one or two maybe no more we'll see how the grafting does we'll see how everything turns out see how the flavor and the size and everything is with what we have